guys, Robert here. Um, today I'm doing an undercarriage wash on the T36. Um, so we had a little bit of work done that happened in Carnest, which was the um, a radiator flush, a starter, a brand new air conditioner because yeah, it gave, it gave up. So we needed a, actually a brand new Bosch uh, compressor, dryer, um, and some other things that they needed to do inside the car, but that was the major, major stuff. So right now, doing an undercarriage wash just to make sure if everything is nice and dandy. And yeah. I noticed yesterday there was a little bit of fuel leaking underneath the car, but that actually happened after a full tank of gas. So yeah, I think um, I think they overfilled it a little much. So. Thankfully, there's no leak. So part of the washing detail here is washing the wheels, of course. Really awesome. Yeah, this is one of the maintenance things that you need to do once in a while. Especially if you live in a very rainy country. And Philippines is a little on the gritty side. You know. It's taking a lot of time, energy, and effort to make sure that this car is running really well and really efficient because yeah I want to use this as an everyday car so I gotta take care of it trade off it yeah you gotta spend for it take care of it so that the car will take care of me come on I'm inside going up going up 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 Uh, what's underneath here yeah you can see the remnants of the gasoline but yeah that's from too much gas well you got some rush action here ooh ooh kuya ano to ooh sa loob yan no Well, it's an old car. We got some cobwebs and stuff here. <laughs> All right. So out of the entire underbody, this is the only thing that has some rust action happening there. And I think, what's this? Parang, this is already a patch, probably. Gotta have that fixed. Otherwise, that's, yeah, this is the only part. Yeah, Koya over there is like wiping the wheels down, slipping everything. As you can see. Got some webbing action happening there. Look at that, stainless steel pipes, guys. All that stuff over here. Oh, I was just told that they also do under body work. So like the, the undercoating, they, they do the undercoating here. Uh, I'm thinking of doing that and they'll also fix the little rust action that's happening down there. So. Um, yeah, just preventative maintenance. So, 
So what's happening now guys is that uh, he's spraying the underneath of the car um, some diesel to make sure everything is nice and clean underneath. Uh, yeah, diesel makes sense, right? So, but we do have to schedule for the undercoating of this thing. It takes about a whole day. So perhaps before rainy season comes in around April. But they also do a wipe down of the car too. Nice. Alright guys, so we are on our way back home. So we got the undercarriage wash. So that was really nice. So we got to see some of the rust action that needs to get, get done. Um, so I do plan to do the undercarriage co coating that they offer over there. And they, were, they will fix all of the rust action too. So, and some of the things that I've done for the past couple of weeks on this car is the radiator fluid flush. Um, yeah, it was slow on on coolant so it kind of heated up a little bit so I didn't use it for yeah after that so I got that fixed um, a new starter which needed to be done sometimes when I turn on the ignition it's kind of off so I uh, got that done brand new air conditioner um, a, a new compressor a new um, and the dryer, they call it a dryer, I don't know what it is, but yeah, so the air conditioner is working fine, perfect, because the summertime is coming. But right now we are experiencing cooler weather here in Lipa City, but coming March, late Feb, that's the summertime now. Anyway, uh, that's what I've done so far on this car, so stay tuned for more. Cheers. <laughs>